Hi everybody, my name is Chris Gialfa and I am the Woodwind Product Manager at Daddario and I'm here with my good friend Richie Hawley. Richie was Principal Clarinetist for the Cincinnati Symphony and is currently Professor of Clarinet at Rice University in Texas. How are you Richie? Great to be here. Let's talk about selecting a mouthpiece. What are some of the things that people need to consider before actually going out and selecting a mouthpiece? They have to consider which of the three types of mouthpiece they want to choose. Open, medium, or close. Open, medium, and close is referring to the facing, which is the curvature on the mouthpiece in relation to where it is with the reed. A close mouthpiece, like the X0, has very little curve, and as a result of that, there's wonderful benefits of response and ease of articulation. The X5 mouthpiece has more curve on the facing. The sound can get warmer, but as it gets warmer, there's a little bit more resistance built into the mouthpiece. The X10 is a mouthpiece where the facing has the most curve. And this mouthpiece has a deeper sound and has more resistance built into the mouthpiece. You mentioned resistance. Let's talk about that for a minute. Is that a good thing? Resistance is what helps hold the sound together. It's like uh, gripping the sound, and you can feel it when you're playing. Sometimes a student will come in and their setup will be too resistant and then it forces them to be biting too much. That's a very, very bad habit. Uh, what I'll do is I will make the suggestion of simply changing to a lighter reed. The mouthpiece and the reed combination is critical. We need to have that resistance in the mouthpiece and the reed combination so that the player can really blow the air and get things centered and singing in a way that is optimum. What materials are used to make these mouthpieces and is there anything unique about those materials? These mouthpieces have been milled, which is carved, out of hard rubber. It's very different than a mouthpiece that's been molded out of plastic. Hard rubber has a beautiful warm and singing sound, unlike a plastic molded mouthpiece. So clearly worth the investment. Definitely.